was like, it almost brought you to tears. You're like, whoa, this sounds so good. Too good. Okay. We got to find that. Well, I appreciate it if you send me stuff like that. It'd be nice. <laughs> okay. Well, hello, everybody. First off, if you watched our last weekly podcast, we talked about the little white beanie that Lacey just... <laughs> I never called it little. <laughs> okay, whatever. The white beanie that Lacey left behind, the white beanie that I loved and I adored. <laughs> it's like a good and, chapter to a book, the yeah, left behind beanie. <laughs> the left behind beanie. And she, like, a few years later, told me afterwards that she left it on purpose. Okay, if you didn't watch that video... It's our last podcast, but I just want to say that I now have a white hat on mm-hmm. and I feel like we compromised Fully this approved. last week. I think we, it. it was just like, you know what? We got to figure this out here. <laughs> so Lacey apologized with buying me a white hat. I don't really think it was an apology at all. <laughs> I took it like that until I now. I still do not regret my decision on the white beanie. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome back to another week podcast. Yes. This is... A week that we are really excited for because Mm -hmm. it's the week before a trip. Yeah. And we'll talk about like things that we do prepare for uh, before we go on a trip. Yep. Um, But it is that time frame where it's go time. Mm -hmm. The to-do list is is there. It's made. The packages are coming to the door. Oh man, are they coming? The suitcases are coming out tomorrow. They come out tomorrow or today? I'm going to wait till tomorrow when the boys are at school because as soon as they see a suitcase enter the house, they They will sniff it out and Tucker will be like, mom, where are you going? What are we doing? And then he wants to start packing mm -hmm. because he loves packing a suitcase. I just don't want them to see it. Pack a suitcase? So (laughs) when it's out of sight, out of mind. And when I say he likes to pack a suitcase, I mean he's throwing his Legos, his stuffies, his toys, his his Star Wars costumes. And I'm like, we can't. No, the we essentials. got time for that. The essentials as a boy. <laughs> I get it. I understand that. Um, His weapons. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I got to be prepared for whatever this vacation is. He did that one year for our cruise and I just didn't want to break his heart. I'm like, buddy, we got to unpack this a little bit yeah, and, and just kind of think through this. Well, then he play, then he plays airport. So once he puts it together, yeah. then he plays airport and he's like, pretending going he's going on the a plane. plane and all that Anyway, jazz. but I did say to them like a couple days ago, just in case they saw suitcases because we're trying to prepare everything like right all the scenarios in case something happens because it's a surprise obviously mm-hmm. and so i told them i said hey we should get our we should get our um suitcases our, our suitcases out. out early for our disney cruise and tucker's like yeah let's do it so i did that not obviously for the disney cruise but mm-hmm. in case they saw suitcases randomly in our room before we go yeah that way we're like oh we're They're just you know we're getting off. ready for the disney cruise yeah they, they did know. see actually if you watched um our vlog came that came out on saturday was just like packing essentials for a road trip we got this like organizer for our car and i got it all packed up with the snacks and landon saw it and he's like what's this what's all these snacks in here i'm like i don't know what i said but it totally deferred him from the topic and he got off of it and i was just like oh my gosh <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> i had it like covered with a blanket but <laughs> somehow it got it it's revealed like, it's borderline <laughs> lying so we're trying not to get there. We're trying just to be like, you know, yeah. stealth mode and making, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it is lying. <laughs> I mean, it's all in good, good, um, it's, good intentions. It's joking till Friday. <laughs> it's joking till Friday. It's joking till Friday. And then we'll be like, just kidding. Like, <laughs> it's not a lie. It's a joke till uh, Friday. I think, I think there was one thing that came in and I opened it and I was like, oh, excited about the package. And Landon's like, what is that? And it was for Disney. But I was like, oh, it's for the church. But to be fair, there was something else in that package right. for the church. It just wasn't the thing I was excited about. It's a white lie, as they say. Yeah, because you know when you like <laughs> you order something and you order lots of things from Amazon, they come in the same package. Yeah, you know that's kind of what happened. But right. yeah, there's been a lot of that. So, but they still have no idea, like mm-hmm. no idea, which yeah, is they truly so don't. Good. Yeah, and our plans changed again. Kind of how it changes, you know, because we plan this, and then my family wanted Justin's, to come, and yeah, and so since we were trying to get back for Thanksgiving. To be with family, but since yeah, his family's they're coming, coming with us, we're like, so well, we'll all be together in Thanksgiving. There, yeah. So we were going to leave like early Friday morning. That was our, our original plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, instead of taking the kids to school, we would go. But we're like, we're going to get there a day early if we did that. You yeah. Because it's just the way that yeah. the, the, everything changed with my family right. coming. But it works so, out really well because Thursday night, we are going to try to have everything packed and ready to go. But Justin works late Thursday night with youth. And that was just going to be hard. And so I'm like, well, now we have Friday. They're at school. We can get everything packed up. Plus, we get to sleep in and we're not, yeah. you know, getting... I just think it's always hard when you wake up super early, just 
and then drive all day. Well, also on Thursday night, this Thursday, I have a huge like Thanksgiving party Event, with youth. Yeah. And I always, you know, it's just goes late, it goes late, whatever. And I, I, I didn't want to like come home and load up the truck and yeah, get to get bed, two you know. hours of sleep, which anyway, it probably would happen. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So we're like, this is a better plan. Mm -hmm. Kids go to school like they think they're going to school. Right. And then when we pick them up from school, we have the truck packed. Ready to go. And we're going to leave. Yeah. So what's cool is Lacey's dad lives about two and a half hours away on the way to Vegas. Mm -hmm. So we have to go through Twin Falls, Idaho anyway to get to Vegas. And so yeah. we're going to stay with him Friday night and do like a little Thanksgiving like kind of get together anyway. Just kind of hang out with him Be for a little bit. Be able to see him. Yeah. Before Thanksgiving. So we're like, that's perfect. Right. So we're going to still hit the road. It's still going to be a surprise. We're going to tell the kids we're going to Disneyland mm -hmm. um, when they get out of school. Imagine mm -hmm. that as a kid. I know. That's going to be so crazy because yeah. they're going to be kicking off their Thanksgiving break, coming to the truck, and we're like, wow, we're going to Disneyland. Yeah. Ugh, would they have their school backpacks? Now I'm thinking about that. I was that. thinking about I that, but I, should... I don't think it's a big deal. We'll just put them in a bin in the truck. Yeah, that's No true. problem. Okay. Yeah, it's no problem. And then what's cool is they can work on homework on the way back. <laughs> You're welcome, teachers. Yeah. After, <laughs> after an amazing Disney vacation, like, all right, guys, back to reality. Get your the homework cool out. The cool thing, actually, about their school is they don't assign any homework over breaks. Oh, that's cool. And then, yeah, they're off on Mondays. It's a really cool schedule, so I yeah. do appreciate that. No, I, I thought about their backpacks, but I'm like, I'm going to have a bend anyway. We can just put it in there and call it yeah, a day. Yeah, that's true. So all anyway, right. things kind of change a little bit mm -hmm. as they do, but we're rocking and rolling, and it's going to be fun. And we've had a lot of comments asking, are we going to film the reaction? Mm -hmm. We hope to. But yeah. it's, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen and right. things happen and whatever. But yeah, I would like to. We would like sure. to. It's taken a lot of work for us to, to keep, keep this quiet, hush, hush. especially at their age. So. And I know they love to look back and see their reaction. And it's yeah. always a fun thing for us to see, too. And I'm sure you guys, obviously, it's fun for you to see, too, because yeah. you've been in on this secret with us. You've done well. Yep. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah. You know, what's funny is actually one of Landon's friends watches our channel and he knows, and he told me Atlanta's birthday. He's like, does Landon know about the trip? I'm like, no, he doesn't. Don't say anything. Oh, He's like, funny. okay. Was, Good for him. I was like, way to go, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's, I, been, it's been it, on the DL It has been on well. the DL. And yes. I'm, excited. I'm excited, too, because I feel like it's kind of like a bonus day that we're leaving, too. So it kind of gets you in that vacation mode a little earlier. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of fun. This coffee is strong. Justin's like, do. do you want coffee? I was like, no. He's like, it's a coffee chat. I'm like, if yeah. I must. But I was like, just make me six ounces. He's like, too late. Already doing eight. And I was like, okay. Yeah, it rhymes. But it's <laughs> already too late. Doing already doing eight. But we we're both rocking our zero mugs. Um, did you say, oh, you said eight cup? What did you say? Eight ounces. Oh, yeah. It's the Keurig if you're. Yes, uh, sorry. Parent. Yes, we did the Keurig. Um, but we're both rocking our zero mugs because those are the mugs we have in the studio. Um, and it is a very strong because um, this Keurig has like, a, what is this? Uh, the, the type that you can go to because there's like strong like extra strong extra bold, strong like, bold there's like a really put hair in your chest robust button pretty much yeah and i think you did that one for me today yeah, yeah. that's what we do <laughs> yeah. but um anyway this week uh is like we mentioned you know the to-do list week and stuff like after this podcast i'm gonna go get my tire fixed because i ran over a screw so that's great mm -hmm. and Lisa, uh, it wasn't me this time it's usually yeah. me at least usually runs over <laughs> I all usually find all the screws and nails in, in Idaho. All they usually they come to her car. I so, feel like it's. I'm glad I, I'm glad I saw that because it, yeah, because my tire pressure didn't like. Oh, it didn't go off. No, nothing. But it's jammed in there perfectly. Mm. If you take it out, it's gonna. Yeah. I'm glad I saw that now, not yes. like on the road trip in the middle of nowhere in yeah. Ely, Nevada. <laughs> Jeez, I, hate, I hate Ely, Nevada. We've we had, have some pretty have scary stories, stories Nevada. of Ely, Nevada um, with a blizzard snowstorm. Oh we had to put chains on our we tires. We didn't have four-wheel drive. Oh it was my your car. Gosh. It was bad. Um, I also put a truck cover on, so it's all, everything's going to be, you know. Covered, covered in case there's and, rain or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was cool. It was actually really cool and off Amazon. It's like Velcro and stuff. Like mm -hmm. You'll see in this week in a life vlog and speaking of that this next week in a life video that will come out is going to be all like the getting ready kind of stuff right but what, what else is on your list for to, to do to get done mm -hmm. well i mean packing for sure so that'll yeah. be a whole vlog to watch us with packing um for all the kids and myself i've been taking notes like i love my reminders app because literally mid thought i'm like oh do not forget that i'm not gonna forget that i just put it in i've had this like l ongoing list the other one was i saw tucker's been really into playing the switch again so i'm like oh the switch you know just things like that where 
they would normally pack it. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to think or through the things they're going to want. Just let Tucker pack his suitcase and then see what's in there. <laughs> no. That's perfect. Because <laughs> then he's going to be like, where's all my stuff? <laughs> where's all my stuff? So um, I'm just trying to think all that through. And then also Junie with, you know, the toddler needs and whatnot. But as far as like going out, I did do like a few of my errands today. I got some like jammies for the kids, Christmas jammies. And Lannons were too small, so I exchanged those. You got so. some socks that came in Amazon today? My socks came in. My Disney like socks. Disney socks. Oh. So pretty cute. Cool. I've been talking to just um, our family that's going and we've got like Christmas Mickey ears and those came in. So just getting all of that stuff together and packing. But I don't really have any things I need to go out and do. I just need to kind of like get everything situated packed here. up, situated. I do want to get the house like really clean. My goal was to do that this weekend. Did not happen. I think you started. So I started like just picking up I got the up lights stuff. up, the, yes. the outside lights. Mm-hmm. That was my plan. Because when we get back, I wanted to just turn it on and right. not have to worry about putting so lights ready up when for we get Christmas. back. Yeah. yeah. But it's uh, getting there. But like kind of what we do before we leave on a trip is we like clean out our fridge. We do. So we're going to get really creative with our leftovers. meals this week and leftovers. Right. And, and do all that. Yeah, I actually didn't even do, because usually Monday is my grocery order day where I order and it comes in either today or tomorrow. I didn't do that. I got a few things on Sunday, just like necessities to get us by. The because um, oh, we're just going to eat out of the pantry this uh, week. So yeah. I do have a meal prepared tonight. Uh, I think I already had some things on hand. We're doing a marry me chicken. Like it's like a soup, but it's like it's got noodles in it. Hmm. It's got... Um, uh, sun-dried tomatoes. It looks so good. Anyways, so just getting all of that cleaned out is something that we do. And then we don't like to like go out to eat, eat, eat or yeah. eat out or anything like that. It, feel, it feels good. Like whenever that happens, I get excited because I know vacation is there. Mm-hmm. And so we really try to be good with like eating clean as well and mm-hmm. all that. That way we can eat like trash in Disney. <laughs> I mean, that's real. realistically that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Like we're just, we're it, not it's vacation. You're Disney. eating out. And yeah. Even if you, even if you eat healthy options it's still it's it's just not the same yeah. as like making food from scratch so yeah but that's part of the oh, thing we look I, forward to I love to it but Disney. it's also fun mm-hmm. to like try to eat really clean and mm-hmm. clean out the fridge yeah. and do all that here cuz then it makes it makes it, it even more, more special yeah. and stuff yeah even though when we have no food and when i say no food i mean like not as much in on hand, you know. Yeah, then not that's like when fast it gets grabs. fast grabs yeah then that's when it gets tempting to be like hey should we go to Taco Bell and get their new 90s, what is their thing out right now that you love? Oh, yeah. I mean, they brought, the, the they brought back the stuff. Mexi Melt. They brought back the Green Burrito. Uh-huh. They brought back the uh, the Supreme Gordita. When Justin told me all of this, I was like, like I don't on. know what like any of childhood. this is. I don't remember. Like, I Your just never liked Taco Bell. didn't go to Taco Bell. And I, that is sad We went to, to Taco Time. Okay, you guys are me. so, so... <laughs> Bougie. No, their crispy okay. burritos are still. You guys with your bomb. expensive fast food. Taco time. Like that's Taco the most time. expensive fast food. It costs you like forty dollars to get like three burritos. Have you seen how Taco Bell makes their beans? I just saw a real lot of the I other care. day. I was like, oh no. I do not care. <laughs> they look like little um, like cat I'm, food. I'm sorry, <laughs> but the thing is, is all fast food is not healthy. I know. I understand. But that. they say that Taco Bell is one of the most healthier options where did you read that well they have like a like they have like some good <laughs> healthy options yeah on their menu okay do i get the healthy options on their menu absolutely, absolutely not. not never will but never they have, have they have good healthy options <laughs> yeah. you know mm-hmm. anyway um someone on here is gonna be like no they don't and be screaming in the comments but it's okay but yeah the if you guys know what i'm talking about the mexi melt oh my gosh it's so good Lacey, after I ate that, Lacey looks at me, she's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm just so happy right now. I was like, you look like very just <laughs> like, like relaxed, <laughs> but also you look <laughs> like you're going to die. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what happens with Taco Bell. <laughs> you know, you, you, you feel like you're going to die right after you eat it, but it's like, it was so good. It was just like, it brought back so many memories Yeah. of the, the green burritos back in the Mexico. I, would, I do have to say Taco Bell has got good marketing. I mean, how they bring back their stuff. People yeah, seem they excited do. about it. At yeah. least you do. I mean, a lot of people do. It's good stuff. So anyway, so we kind of want to talk about our video schedule because it's kind of coming up to Vlogmas. We thought it would be kind of fun to talk about like what our videos look like. So we have this podcast that you're listening to now. If you're listening or watching this in real time, uh, then Saturday will be our pack with me for Disneyland, which is always a classic video for us. Mm -hmm. And then that Tuesday, following Tuesday, will be 
vacation vlog. Our vlog of like what we're filming this mm-hmm. week, getting ready for vacation. And then on we won't have a podcast. This will be our last podcast until after Thanksgiving. Um, so there will be no podcast next week. And then we're going to have our first travel day to Disney on that Saturday. Mm-hmm. And then we hope to have a Disneyland video come out every day until it's finished because that enters into Vlogmas. Vlogmas. So that's the plan. It's that's the, the hope. plan. But that's a lot of editing in a day. So we'll see with Disney yeah, content. Because yeah. Saturday we get back. Will be day one, mm-hmm. and that's and then Sunday's December first, right? I think so. It, so. Yeah, so it's just gonna be boom, 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 boom from there. Yeah, yeah, and I think. Um, and so you may see us every yeah, single day. Wow. So anyway, that's that's kind of our upload schedule. It's crazy that after Disney, that like, we'll be putting out a video every day, and we say every day we're gonna try. We've talked about maybe doing it like Monday through Friday maybe and having the weekends off mm-hmm. but there'll just be a lot more videos for sure in vlog in vlogmas so speaking of vlogmas we are planning on vlogging till christmas day we haven't decided quite yet if it's going to be every day or just the weekdays monday through friday and just taking saturday and sunday not having a video so we'll see how that goes but yeah that's i mean it's our first time doing vlogmas mm-hmm. or we've done it we've tried doing it before but we've never actually succeeded mm-hmm. or did we I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll anyway, go back and look. <laughs> so we'll just kind of see how it goes. But for sure, we're going to be putting out more videos yes. in the month of December. When Yeah, and we're just not quite with like our clientele, just what that's going to look like during the holiday season. So that depends on ours as well. So we'll just kind of yeah, see. Yeah, clients come first priority than us just putting out a random video yeah. during the week. So, yeah, so but we'll, we'll see. see. Mm-hmm. It'll be fun to be kind of like daily vloggers. But it is kind of cool that we're starting out Vlogmas with like Christmas, Christmas and, and Disney. Disney. Yeah, that is yeah. cool. It'll so, be fun. But yeah. we were also thinking this is our last podcast until Thanksgiving and till December. So we thought we'd talk a little bit about Thanksgiving and just what we are just really thankful for. It's been really cool this month. We started a countdown for the boys and rather doing because we were trying to like, how do we make it fun for them? Obviously, they don't know about the Disneyland trip, but they're counting down till like their Thanksgiving break. So instead of doing a chain, we did like a list on our calendar of how many days are left and then every day to on school days they have to share something they're thankful for and it's been really fun and I think something they've been looking forward to and it was really cute one morning they were sharing things they were thankful for and even Justin um like you brought up you're like oh what about like Walter you haven't said Walter yet and then Tucker's like oh I'm gonna say Walter tomorrow and like so he's like tomorrow I'm gonna say this and they've been like really like just having fun with it too I think Mm -hmm. it's been really cool And they're just really creative with some of their stuff. I wasn't there one morning and Justin did it with them. And then I came and saw Justin wrote it on the board. And it said Tucker and Landon. And And I was like, what? And you're like, brothers. They said today they're thankful to have brothers. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, no, Tucker was like, I'm thankful for Landon. Landon was like, I'm thankful for Tucker. Yeah. I'm glad that we have both brothers and and that we're friends. Yeah. So, because they they are like really good friends. They're really good buddies. Right. That's, literally what i would I, I hope that they continue that yeah through like you know teenage years through like when they're adults, adults and, and have you know kids yeah. of their own that they actually have you know a good relationship with their brother For sure. yeah and so we really try to like work things out and mm-hmm. communicate with them when they have arguments and which they do constantly. Oh, absolutely. But I think those are all <laughs> good for them to learn how to work out. Yeah. It's funny because there was one time, I don't know if we talked about it. I think we did, but we did like the, we did like the, the hug, the hug, yeah. the hug mm-hmm. day. And so every hour, if we talked hour. about it, sorry, but like one time they were just like not having it in the morning and it was just like arguing, arguing, arguing. Mm-hmm. So finally they got, you know, they made up and they talked about it. And so I was like, okay, give each other a hug. And they're just like, dude. And so I'm like, no, you got to give each other a hug. So they gave each other a hug. And then, like, I said, look, this is your consequence today. Because cause they were disobeying us, too. Like, mm-hmm. it was a thing. I'm like, Rough day. this is your consequence. And so what I said, I'm like, okay. So after they, they hugged and they were laughing a little bit, I said, what we're going to do today is on the hour, every hour for the rest of the day, you guys are going to stop what you're doing and you're going to hug each other. They're like, what? Mm-hmm. Dad, I'm like, let's just try it and see what happens. So literally... On the hour, I had an alarm go off, and I'm like, hug time. Well, I remember you were in the studio, and you'd, like, open the door. They are playing outside. You're like, time to hug, and they're, like, playing, like, dad. 
like do it. <laughs> they would come and they would laugh and whatever. And hug. But they still th- they still talk about that to, to this day. I mean, yeah. that was like I don't know a few months ago. But um, I think it it just it reminded them that they were able to work things out. Mm-hmm. And it was a fun. It was fun for them right. after that. So yeah, they were laughing. Watch about when it. they're like teenagers. It will do that again when they're like sixteen and be like, "All right, hug time." Hug your like, brother. Are you serious, Dad. <laughs> anyway, do um, it now. Hug your brother. But yeah, it was cool. Definitely thankful um, for you know our family. Um, thankful for just the relationship our boys have. Mm-hmm. Thankful for Junie. Thankful for health. She brings a lot to the family. She does. Yeah. She she brings a lot of laughter, mm-hmm. a lot of joy. She evens it out. We said that we're like, man, yeah. if we had a girl, it's gonna even. Even her out, but you know what? Even her out, even us out. Yeah. But I'm really thankful to take her to Disney because, mm-hmm. I mean, you guys who are who are OG people. Yeah. Like we've talked about having a, a girl, girl going to Disneyland a long time. Yeah. A long time, and so the fact that it's actually happening. I know. Like looking back I'm on our like vlogs. I'm like so excited about this. Yeah, because we watched. I like know she's girl. young. She's not really gonna remember it, or whatever. But I am. Yeah, and know? like watching our old vlogs, always talking about, oh, it would be so fun to have a little girl to. You know, know, wear princess dresses or see the princesses or do this. Does she even have any princess so, dresses? She does. She's just not like. But it's going to be a little colder. Um, but yeah, I have one like and some of them are too big for her. So yeah, a yeah. Lot, she has a lot of princess dresses, but they're too big for her. Right yeah. Now. My friend gave me all of her daughter's yeah. old ones. She's got Rapunzel and Cinderella and Anna and Elsa. Like they look so cute. They're always hung up. They've been hung up in her closet for quite some time, but they're just still a little big. But Tucker always looks at him. He's like, "Do these fit Junie yet?" <laughs> <laughs> but day. yeah, I think there is one that probably fits her now, so I'll bring it. But yeah. Anyway, that yeah. that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, I'm very thankful for me. Same, I would obviously our family and our kids, and just wow, like what a blessing. And I was talking to some friends today too. As much as the stress kids bring in your life and just <laughs> how exhausting I, I I am at the end of the day sometimes with them I'm like wow like it is a blessing to have our kids and there are many families that you know don't have kids and you know aren't able to and so we are very blessed and very thankful for our three kids um, another thing I would say for me is being working like at home this year I'm so thankful to be able to do that and because Junie's our last it's just been really surreal just taking like those times with her and being able to have those moments with her where I'm like, wow, she's just growing up. And before you know it, she's going to be, you know, dropping her off at school. So it's just crazy. And I'm very thankful that I get to have more moments with her and also have a job that I love to do and just learning a lot from it too. And just how that's been growing. It's been cool. I've just been I don't know, Justin see me like stretch in this area of like just our business with our, our channel, but then also with editing, like I've just been like, act, you know, experiencing new things to say the least. And Justin's like, I've been through that before when I was editing this, is what I learned. And he's been like helping me through that because, you know, there's just a lot of um, growth, I guess, in that area that I've been able to really hone in on because this is like my main job. Whereas before I was just like always, you know, kind of doing it on the side with teaching and I'm really enjoying it. And it's just becoming like more of a passion for me and like more creativity has been coming out. And I'll show Justin, I'm like, what do you think of this? And it's very rare I can get a compliment out of no, it. No, come on. It's <laughs> but not when like I that. Do. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad that you're trying stuff, but there, you know, it's, it, it, you know what I mean? And you're like, eh, it's tightened up a little <laughs> bit more. Yeah. I understand well, but that's how, that's, because yeah. I when I ask you, there's, I'm not asking yeah, you as my totally. husband. I'm asking you yeah. as I, a, your professional well, there's opinion. A, there's a standard. Yeah. There's a standard that we have and we meet that. Yeah. And I think a lot of our clients appreciate that and mm-hmm. all of that. And hopefully they do anyway. Right. Uh, but but there's a, that standard. No, like yeah. when, when it's our vlogs, it like our Weekend Life vlogs, I let the standard slip a tad mm-hmm. here and there. It's kind of like a, we, I let, I let you learn on our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sometimes it depends yeah. on the vlog. It but does. If it's like a weekend of life. I'm like, yeah, you go ahead and do the, the montage. That's fine. Yeah. Do the B-roll. Learn that. Yeah. But when it's a, a client, it's just like everything gets passed through me. Oh, absolutely. So. And I want you to. And that's when I'm like, so what would you do different? And I'm, then he shows me, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. So anyways, uh, to go back on what I'm <laughs> It's very for, rare. 
Oh yeah. my gosh. I'm very thankful for this season of working at home and getting to be with Junie more. And yeah, it's been good. I'm honestly thankful for health. Mm-hmm. You know, just like we've had a lot of people like stick around us and stuff. And yeah. um, I mean, like little things, bigger things, really big things. Um, like my uncle, um, you know, passed away. We're yeah, going to be I actually... I don't think we actually shared that with you guys. We shared in a vlog that he was diagnosed. Oh, did we not? And I don't think we've shared, but yeah, he did pass away about yeah. two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, it's just, it's been, it's been kind of a yeah. hard like season and, mm-hmm. um, and anyway, so we're actually going to be going down there for like his funeral, funeral. Yeah. um, in December. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so it, it, I just like look at that I'm like, you know, yeah. I'm thankful for health. Mm-hmm. I'm thankful that, you know, we can do what we want to do, travel, mm-hmm. You know, like and I was just thinking like, man, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't want to ever take that for granted and, yeah. and all that. And, um, and anyway, so thankful for that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, obviously thankful for, you know, that w- things that we get to do with this channel and, mm-hmm. and how it's growing with, um, just our, our business and yeah, looking back to when we actually started in 2018 mm-hmm. to now it's. Never thought it would be this. Yeah. Never thought because right. we had our podcast last week about, you know, like kind of like our, our life and yeah. change and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But when did you start teaching? Was it 2018? Um, I believe. Well, that was when Tucker was born. So I was before then, actually. Yeah. yeah. But I just not. 16. I did not ever think that like yeah. you would be home doing no. this. Yeah. And not teaching because that's what you're right. going to school for. That's what you're finishing yeah. up, whatever. And also, I'm just really thankful for our community, for you guys. Um, mm-hmm. I was going to say that it, next. Dang it, you stole mine. I don't know. I just, it's crazy to me to think of all A, the friendships that yes. we have, you know, made. Right. Um, friends that we consider like really good friends that we've never actually met in real life, which mm-hmm. is weird. Right. But then also, those of you who we've actually met in real life and yeah. we continue to have relationships right. off camera. Right. Um, it's Whether that cr- be crazy. like locally here, we've met you or, mm-hmm. um, you know, all around just the States. I mean, yeah. it's just really crazy. And then what's cool is like going to Disneyland or going to a Disney cruise or whatever. We run into you guys and like mm-hmm. it. F- okay. So if you see us in Disneyland, okay, please say hi to us, mm-hmm. please. Because it, it makes our day. Like it's, it's really yeah, cool. It is really cool. I know last time we did Disneyland, we had quite a few people that came up to us and the thing they said was, I booked a cruise because of you guys. And we're like, I love it. I love it. Love it. Because well, we it. love Disney cruises. Yep. So it is really cool when I see you guys in the parks Our as friends well. actually who we met on YouTube, they actually went on a Disney cruise and they sent me um, a letter that um, one of you guys wrote to them because you saw them on the cruise and said, hey, tell the Zachmans we said hi. Oh, wow. And so, oh, is this Bryson and Crystal? Yeah. Oh, how cool! Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's awesome. So anyway, it's just really cool when we get a, a meet you mm-hmm. when we see your handle commenting, but we actually get to see you in person. Yeah. But just like when you guys leave comments, that always mm-hmm. means so much to us. Um, and uh, I don't know, it's just we read all of them. We don't yeah. get back to all of them, but we do read all of them. Yeah, and like we talk about it, and we just have a really good community, and you guys are just always so supportive of, of us, and. Like Karen in Hawaii, she commented something the other day and I told Justin about it and I was like, I just love her. And like, you know, we're just so thankful to have you guys just a part of our, you know, even just our kids lives and just, you know, helping just, you know, our our growth on our channel as far as things we've changed. You're still just been really supportive. Well, so I mean, like cool. we, we couldn't do this without you, obviously. Mm-hmm. Like you guys are the ones who show up, who watch our videos, yeah, who view it. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, we give it all to you. Yeah. And so we really, I mean, seriously, Very we appreciate thankful. it and we're yeah. thankful for you guys. And, you know, it's a lot of work to put out videos. It's a lot of mm-hmm. work to edit, to think through content. It is, it's a job. It really is. And honestly, like being a creator is, is a lot of work. Mm-hmm. So when we actually think of the content and put in the work and put in hours of time for it mm-hmm. and you guys show up to watch or share the videos or like the videos or comment on the videos, mm-hmm. it means a ton. It really does. For sure. Yeah. So thank you guys. And also, I mean, I have to bring up, I, we talked about our friends, but I want to say their names, Adam and Sherry. Oh and yeah. And their channel, Leg Life in Alaska. Who we went to um, Seattle with. They are the ones As that, well as Crystal and, and Bryson. Bryson yeah. But Adam and Sherry, they were the ones that inspired us to start our channel, I would say, honestly. Mm-hmm. And now they are one of our best friends. Yep. Isn't that crazy to say? It's crazy. We love those guys so much. We do? 
We do. I don't know, man. I mean, Sherry, at least. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Sherry, I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah. I think that was it. Oh, I wanted to say one more thing. Also, I'm very thankful. I was thinking about just our home. I was like getting ready, ready the other day to come out here and work. And I was like, wow, like my work is in our backyard. So this studio has been such a blessing. I'm so glad we never moved and we were able to work this out because we love our location. We love our home and we love our neighbors. Like we have the best neighbors. Like I'm like, wow, like our boys have their, one of their best friends from church live like right next to us. And it's just, it's a good season. We tell the boys all the time. We're like, this is very rare that you guys get to play with your friends like this all the time. Like most kids don't get to do this. And they're always just so excited to see them outside. I think we talked about that, but we didn't even know that they're moving. No. And they found out from my other friend, you know, my other, who's in on staff at our church. He's like, you know, you realize that they're moving right next to you. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm thinking in the subdivision, Mm -hmm. like, no, like, cry across the street yeah so crazy. and so it was, it was just like like you're what and they didn't know and it was like yeah. this funny thing and it's been yeah, awesome so it's been so cool yeah. and i'm friends with their mom and there's been I go multiple to the, I go to the gym <laughs> yeah with their dad but there's yeah. been multiple times where i'm like um hey dove i'm out of eggs <laughs> she's like i got you <laughs> And I'm like, I'm embarrassed this has happened so many times. She's like, I got lots of eggs. So. Yeah, I feel like you're always asking for eggs. I don't know. Like, what's happening to us? I'm just like, I just poor need one planning. egg. Just poor planning one egg. on our part. Oh, my gosh. I'm like in the middle making a dessert. I'm like, Lacey, why did you not look in the fridge first? But anyways, That's I wanted fun. to bring that up as well. Now, before we get in some questions, which you mm-hmm. probably should get in just a couple because yes, it's a coffee chat it. and we haven't even talked about it. That's how it goes sometimes. Um, but I am really excited for 2025 for like our channel our business and all that kind of stuff i'm just excited to see where it where it goes what happens with it and it's not like we have any like concrete plans or anything like that but um i feel like we're we're in like a groove um with a lot of things and i'm excited to see you know how that hard work pays off Mm -hmm. during this next year yeah i am too especially thinking about it this will be our first full year i mean because if you think about last year i was still teaching yeah. But my first first full year, like seeing what our business looks like with me, you know, working that mm-hmm. strictly too. So it's and cool. we're starting off the year with the Disney cruise yeah, on the treasure. Baby. I mean, that just can't get any better than okay. that. Okay. One more thing oh, I want to talk about. Speaking of the treasure, what? I didn't tell you the other, the other day. Did you, you guys too, hear the new horn on the treasure? No. How come oh my I didn't gosh. Hear that? I How come you didn't send it to me? I don't know, oh Justin. My gosh. Crystal and Bryson, we were just talking about, I think it was Crystal shared it on her story, and it's a whole new world. Oh, that's so cool. instead of like, yeah, yeah. it was, what part was it? It's like, dun, dun, dun. I don't know what part it was. Dun, 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 dun. No, then I'm like, like no, that's orchestra. not it. <laughs> no. like to it's still the horn, but it was like, it almost brought you to tears. You're like, whoa, this sounds so good. Too good. Okay. We got to find that. Well, we'll I appreciate it if you send me stuff like that. It'd be nice. <laughs> okay. And one more thing before we get to the questions. We've had a lot of Disneyland content. Disney Cruise content will be coming back around mm-hmm. after Disneyland. Yeah. So I'm excited for it because we have a lot of videos planned for the Disney treasure specifically, but also like getting ready for it. It's crazy to think mm-hmm. about all those around different fun little videos that we love doing. So those of you who are here for the Disney Cruise content, it's coming mm-hmm. and it's going to come very fast okay questions <laughs> okay amy's journal said we're going on our first ever cruise in oh, nine days of disney cruise all your right. first cruise ever oh my gosh you guys are gonna have so much fun oh my gosh and they're going wait. on the wonder that was our first cruise too mm. any last minute tips we should know okay um oh, just i would coffee say everywhere number one don't spill coffee <laughs> Oh, we got on the pillow. Yeah, I got it. Why? Well, our pillows are brown. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't everything in our house brown then? We should have brown carpet. We used to. We used to have brown carpet. We used to have brown walls. <laughs> I know, right? Everything it was, was everything brown. Everything was brown. So, okay, anyway. Okay, so I know you said any last minute tips, but I will say something, I mean, something to bring. Do you have a pop-up hamper? ready to go because this is on our like to bring list but i feel like i always forget it and every time we don't like don't have it i'm like i wish we had it the rooms are small and it's just so nice to have that Mm -hmm. it can fold up really easily put it in your suitcase you just pop it up i we like to put it in the closet so Mm -hmm. it's like out of the way but then when everybody's you know getting their clothes dirty we put it in there and then if we do laundry on the cruise it'll be justin doing it and then he can just take the basket to the the laundry mat and get it done 
it'll save you just a lot of time and I don't hassle. just do laundry on a cruise for kicks and giggles. I do it depending on what okay. the vacation's like. If right. it's a longer vacation. But I'm just then... saying, if you've watched us, okay. I don't want to do laundry on okay. vacation. I do it every day. So Justin is usually the one. It, I like doing laundry on vacation if I have to. Yeah. I, I don't know. Just getting ready for the next phase of the vacation is kind of how I look at it. Right. Anyway. Yeah. That's your one. That's your tip. That's, that's your that's your tip. My last minute going, tip for you. Last minute tip. I mean, she's okay. nine days out, so. I, I would say last minute tip, make sure you just grab like cash for tips. Okay. Get dollar bills. Get $5 bills. Go get bills. your dollar bills, yo. Get your, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> get your dollar bills, yo. Um, <laughs> okay, no, no. Okay. No. So get your dollar bills, yo. Your $5, your 10s. Um, oh. But get those dollars for your room service. That's mm-hmm. last minute tips. Also, Get some emergency packs. Get oh the, yeah, get the on-the-go emergency packs. We've mm-hmm. talked about it on our channel. We'll bring I've been it up. Doing we'll bring one it up every day. We'll bring it up this week because they are fantastic. Mm-hmm. Like I love so them. Fast. I love them so much. I take two too. of them. You can take two of them a day. I do two. Okay, I do one, and they don't say this on the box, but maybe it's just me. I don't like take. Don't take them on an empty stomach. I always get a little like ugh after I do it on an empty stomach. If you have a sense of stomach, yeah, like Lacey. So I always eat me, a little something, but it's literally you're like ah. Oh, pop rocks in your mouth it's uh, done uh, it's so fast and you don't have to like stir it in water and drink it i hated that but, one. but it's it's c and d vitamin c and d c and d is yeah. in that yep so those are some last minute tips there you go get your dollars yo mm-hmm. get a laundry basket yo and vitamin c and d but we actually also have a lot of tips and stuff um if you have not watched that we have a whole disney cruise info playlist that will link below yeah and that'll go in a ton of detail if you haven't watched those already yes um, yeah. Next question is on the cruise line, so I thought I would just pop it in here too. Katie Ortiz said, "Alaskan cruise. Who would you use? Have you done one? When would you go? Love y'all. So Love you too. We have done Alaskan cruise. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked previously about our friends Adam and Sherry. We went with them, and it was Princess Cruise Line. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. It's great. Your parents just did one. They just did, on and it princess, was princess as well. And they loved it. They said, you know, ten stars. They loved it as well. Get a balcony room. Yes, that would be my splurge tip on a balcony. For there. Like because there's times you're going to be going through Glacier Bay or whatever, mm-hmm. and you're not going to want to get on deck to see it. You're going to see it right in your room. Yeah. Yeah. It Bundle is up in a blanket. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, Disney, as far as Alaskan cruises, because I know we talk about Disney. I know they are very very pricey, but I've heard they're. Um, well, yeah, amazing it's Disney, as well. so it's, it's going to be top notch. But, but I'm just saying, there are definitely yeah. more. You know, you're going to see the same things on the Princess, but you know, Disney is going to be a little bit more expensive. But I do know I've seen pictures of like Mickey and Minnie in their like, you know, their poncho, not ponchos, but like the rain outfit gear or their Alaskan outfits, and they're all bundled up and they look so cute. Yeah, but I don't know if I would spend that much more money to see that. <laughs> I just don't them. know, Justin. Okay, you haven't. Okay, so yeah, I mean, ultimately, we love Disney Cruise Line. Um, and but like if we did Alaska, if we did Alaska again, again I would with do the, Princess though. Yeah, but yeah. if we had the kids, yeah, we would probably do Disney. We would, but I don't even know if we would do an Alaskan cruise. Maybe when they're the older, older. Maybe, and but, but then we would probably it. go to Princess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You also asked when would you go, and we went in June. I believe it was like the beginning of it. Yeah, I think that was, a good and time. that was a really good time. Did my my parents went June or July. I think they were. I think Adam. He's the one to talk to. He's yeah. the the Alaskan, but they've done them before. Check out Leg Life's channel if you have not watched them. They've got Alaskan cruises on there, mm-hmm. and um, I believe that was a like a really good time to go because it's not like super cold. You still got like maybe pretty yeah. days. You never know with Alaska, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, because they only do their season till I think October. Yeah. But anyways, this is the thing. As far as like Disney Cruise or any other cruise line. This is kind of how we have like decided like, what we would cruise. Okay, mm-hmm. if if it's about the ship, we're doing Disney Cruise Line. If we don't really care about the ports too much, but we just want to cruise and maybe see the ports a little bit, but we just want the entertainment. We want it's Disney Cruise Line. But if it's all about the ports, like if we do like a European cruise or something like that, mm-hmm. and we're we're, we're going to get out and explore. We don't really care about the cruise line because it's like it's like a floating hotel. I mean, the ship is awesome. Like, mm-hmm. it, don't get me wrong, Princess was great. It, it was, was beautiful. beautiful. I'm not saying that, and they still had amazing entertainment. Yes, but I'm just saying, like, for us, mm-hmm. when we cruise for Disney, we're we don't really want to get off the ships very much. Yeah, the ship is a huge it, part of it's it. It's just it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like ninety percent of it for us. Yeah. So I guess that's kind of how we decide right. Disney cruise or non. 
um, right. depending on the ports, I guess. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's going to be exciting though. You'll love it. And it's honestly beautiful. It's like literally it, what I can't get over with an Alaskan cruise is like you feel like you're camping, mm -hmm. but you're on a ship. Because yeah. you pull up the docks and you look and there's just trees. pine trees and forests. And like the and, mist is just yeah, floating and, and, and you're like, oh, I feel wildlife like... Wildlife and... You're in the twilight. When I say twilight, not twilight. Nah, 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 something, but like the twilight movies. No. When it's like... <laughs> just a vampire <laughs> coming around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just like... Get your dollars, so... <laughs> yo. Here we go again. It has nothing to do with... <laughs> Look, at Twilight fans out there, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, it just felt so cozy and like those rainy days out there was so cool too. Yeah. Okay, GCA26 said, how has it been going with keeping quiet for the surprise to Disney? We kind of talked about this in the beginning already with the kids and everything. So yeah. that covered that for you. But yeah, it's, it's, it, it's still a surprise. We have four more days, Justin. We can do it. I hope so. What if we spill the beans like in tomorrow if it sucked yeah. i mean we're doing really good i mean we're doing really good yeah. and we pa we've packed a lot we've hit a lot of things mm -hmm. but i mean we're, we're entering into like really having to pack so there could That's be something where it could get hairy but because we're switching everything to where we're not leaving until friday after school we can pack all their stuff friday morning when they're in school yeah so i feel like we i don't want to do that though but yeah i could you don't want to get their stuff packed I want to do it tomorrow. I want to do it like earlier. Really? I I don't think you realize how long yeah. it takes to pack everybody. All right. But so we this the, the surprise could get spoiled because mm -hmm. they can come in and see a bunch of. I'll just put their suitcases in our room. Okay. Okay. All right. Jenny twenty four said, "Have you thought about taking a trip to Universal?" Yes, mm -hmm. we've taken them before. We actually have a free ticket there anytime we want. That's not supposed to ever expire. <laughs> long story. Yeah. Anyways. We, it's at will call right now. <laughs> we like we really like Universal, and now that they have Super Mario World or whatever it's called, the boys really want to go because mm -hmm. they are all about Nintendo and Super Mario. Yeah. So I think honestly, maybe, maybe our next trip to like Walt Disney World, maybe we we'll do it, it a couple days. Yeah, and they've always loved Jurassic World, so yeah. I mean, with that whole area too, and then Universal's new. What's it called? Epic Universe. That's supposed to open in May. That looks so cool too, mm -hmm. which is crazy. So we'd yeah. be down. Yeah. I love Universal. We'd also like to go back to Universal in California as well. Mm -hmm. So we were actually yeah. talking about doing that a couple trips ago, going yeah. back there, but we just never did. It's hard yeah. with, it's just with the season where our kids are at, I right. think the boys would be down mm -hmm. right now, but with bringing Junie, it's hard. It is. So. I'd, so I'd like them all to be a little bit older mm -hmm. and they do have a little bit more of a... I don't know, height restriction for a lot of their rides that the boys weren't quite at or aren't at. So another ride that I just love in Universal is the E.T. ride. Is that still there anymore? Or did they close it down? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I have a picture of me as a little kid. I thought it was closed down, but maybe it's open. And, like, after the ride, you can, like, sit on E.T.'s bike with E.T. And, like, I had, like, a hood on. I need to find that picture from my mom. I love that picture it's so cool and just to show the boys but i think i feel like that closed down in orlando but it's still open in california if you guys know comment below because i am very curious stephanie kirk 4911 said hi there love y'all's videos thank you so my question is how do you all go about taking trips in school looking into taking my kindergarten out for a possible disney trip later lol thanks in advance yeah, yeah, so we try try to look at the calendar in advance. We're actually doing that now for a trip next year with the fam. And because schools, you know, usually get them out early to see their breaks. Um, but when we did, I mean, we did some trips where it just did not work with their breaks. Mm -hmm. But it had to work with our work. <laughs> and we've had to pull them out of school. So we have done that before. I but think for the first most priority part, is we try to find breaks. We do. So like this for Disneyland, they're on like a Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving break. break. So it's perfect. Yep. But for our Disney cruise, they're going to be missing some school. They will. They'll probably miss like four days. Yeah. And what I do to kind of help with that, because we, you know, we don't want them missing out on school, especially with theirs. They have, you know, it's a four day a week school too. 
is, you know, going up into it, like, you know, Lan's asked me before, can I just skip school today? I'm like, Lan, you've got your trip coming up. We got to save those days, you know? And so they really, I mean, they haven't missed a day of school since they started in August. No. So, but yeah, that's what we do. And then I always talk to the teachers beforehand. I give them a heads up. Be like, hey, the boys are going to be out of school these days with um, a family trip. Is there anything they need to do or get done? And so, so we make I do sure that they, they do their homework and they yeah. get those things Bring done. Bring reading with them if they need to. Yep. Mm -hmm. they're, they're at an age right now where it's easier to do that. I think it's going to get harder and harder as the seasons right. go. So that's why we really try to do it um, you know, around, their around there. Mm -hmm. But it is nice to also do vacations when kids are in school because it's not so busy yeah. in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. So it really just depends, I guess. But like, yeah, for our, our Disney treasure, um, it was just a really good time to go mm -hmm. for us. But also like there was a really cool opening to get on the ship earlier on when yeah. it first like – um, and, embarks right and their next break was until spring break and it wasn't going to work as far as um what was open to go in whatever march or april yeah so, so it was yeah. just is what it is yeah. um but yeah we just communicate with the teachers um we make sure that they're doing um you know reading and their homework and all that kind of stuff but end of the day it's like we know that we're in this season we try not to but also lacy is a teacher and so a lot of that already comes out on the road so we kind of in a way kind of do like a homeschool vibe mm -hmm. where we make sure that they're they're learning but we're still having vacation it's not it's yeah. definitely not like no. school but it's like they're they're coming back prepared to hit the books when they get back yeah kind of a thing so right. it's not it's honestly they don't they don't skip a beat but yeah i think communication is key just talk to your child's teacher i think you said the kindergarten age so you know just usually they don't have a ton of homework at that grade level but if there's anything they need to do and yeah i think it just comes down to it is we just, you know, try to work around their breaks for school, but sometimes it doesn't always play out. But we are really, like, just strict on them on not missing school unless, obviously, they have a fever. They're sick. But there are those days where they don't want to go to school, which I get it. There, I told We tell them all the time, there's days we don't want to work, but we make them go because I'm like, this is a lifelong lesson you're going to learn as an adult. You got to go to school. And plus, we <laughs> need that time for our vacation, vacation. Up. I know. We're like... Um, <laughs> You got to save your days. <laughs> but we also really believe in like, there's a lot of things our kids learn when we travel. Absolutely. Because we like yeah. to travel a lot and we use that as a learning experience for mm -hmm. our kids. And so there's so many times, I mean, like, honestly, a lot of stuff that comes up in life is from trips. Mm -hmm. Like Landon and Tucker will bring things up that they learned on vacations. Right. So we look at a travel for, especially for taking them out of school as learning experiences. Yes. And so honestly, it's just with, with anything like we just do. And so there's been a lot of like cultural things mm -hmm. and uh, things financial, that they, financial things, we talk about money. things that yep. they've seen like on the road that mm -hmm. is different from home because they're, they're able to see like different things and how people live and yeah. culture, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so, and even just like trying new food mm -hmm. and all of that and learning the history behind where this came from and, so we really try to make it educational when yeah. we hit the road. I'm with Landon. As he well. is super into history. So we will go down a rabbit hole of questions for days when we travel with different places with history. That's yeah. for sure. So Well, it's cool too because if we experience something that's just completely different. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when we were in um, New Orleans. New Orleans and we were mm -hmm. going down Bourbon Street. Oh boy. Don't and, don't recommend taking the kids yeah. down there. <laughs> well, we got out of there before it got really crazy. We did. But it was like it was kinda it was like six o'clock dinner time. <laughs> and when we were leaving it started getting kinda crazy. We we're like, Yeah, we're and, gonna bypass yeah. this. But it area. was such a good learning experience for him yeah. because he was asking questions about like why is this or what is this? Mm -hmm. And and I asked him like, What do you think of this? And and that still comes up to this day. So we'll mm -hmm. bring trips back and be like, remember the, this trip when we saw this? Oh, yeah. Well, that's this that you're, you're learning about in school. And then he's like, oh, my goodness, that's yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, you can do that here in normal life. You just can. every day is an education yeah. or, you know, look at each moment as this could be an, a time for, to educate your kids with something like, mm -hmm. you know, to help them learn something or whatever. But. You know, it just when we're especially for taking them out of school, we really try to like make sure that we're focusing in on that as well. We do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, there's more questions, but we won't get to them because yes. we decided to chat for days. Mm -hmm. um, but it seemed like a lot of our questions were kind of like travel. Mm -hmm. It kind of had like a yeah, theme to it. it. Did. But I did want to end on one more question, and that was, "Are you going to Instagram in real time driving to D Land? It would be so much fun to follow and pretend I'm going to." Yes, we are going to Instagram, our travels. 
So follow us at our zero, and that is also the place where you can ask questions. So next time, hopefully, we can answer yours as well. But yes, we will take you guys along with us. It will be like you are in the car riding along to Disneyland. So I'll, I'll maybe, try to be doing maybe stories. Maybe we'll go Instagram live. We haven't done that for Ooh, so long. In the car with three kids? I don't know. I don't know. Should we do it, guys? <laughs> or maybe at one point in Disneyland or somewhere we should go live or okay, something. Okay, we'll see. Be kind of fun. We'll see. Follow we'll see along so you can see if we do or not. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us and watching this podcast. We love you guys so much. And again, we are so thankful for you. But yes, follow us on Instagram. Disney's coming up. Content's coming up. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to get my hands on a churro. Uh, my dad was like, hey, because we're going to be there on Thanksgiving. He's like, hey, we should have turkey legs. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, absolutely we should. And it's a fantastic yeah, idea. Maybe they'll have like pumpkin churros for dessert. Yeah. And we're set. I don't care what. <laughs> I'll eat it. Anyway. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs>